guys so thank you for tuning back into this channel here my Mark GTI uh, something that I've been wanting to discuss for a while because I see it a lot on the Facebook groups uh, and online in general is the uh, you know the MK8 pa platform when it comes to tuning um, some people having issues with their tuners or people not willing to do revisions with their tuners and then they go and bash them online uh, you know, because they couldn't wait or, or whatever the case may be. Um, I myself am kind of guilty for doing that. And I only say that because I had an issue with O34 Motorsports. Um, I installed the PMAX Turbo. I went full E85. I got their software, Stage 3 E85, uh, DSG and ECU combo. And it did not work out for me. Um, the car would have very rough cold starts and I couldn't even do full pulls on their stage 3 software on 85 So I communicated that with them um, You know, I was under the impression that that software was set it and forget it. And you're good to go That was not my case for my car so you know, I talked with 034 Motorsports and their turnaround time for emails um got into an accident there their turnaround time you know on responding to my emails was to me unacceptable I was I was a week uh, waiting for responses and then another week for another response it took them I want to say uh, maybe two to three weeks to fix my cold start issue the car would crank maybe four times before it would finally stay on on full E85 um, their DSG, DSG software works great and that's the reason why I have it here still installed in the car but I want to say I was impatient when it came to working with them, but also I've been with with tuning on the Cobb access port with various tuners um, over the last couple years. Um, I've worked with um, Stratify, I worked with EQT in the past, and uh, what am I doing here? And yeah, I mean, I didn't, expect such delays and such late responses from 034 Motorsports so I was pretty unhappy with it to be honest so you know for a month I was unable to enjoy the car um, I did you know complain to a couple people on social media I didn't put it out there because I didn't want to start this whole drama on the uh, Facebook group uh, in regards to 034 Motorsports so I kind of just you know as for a refund they were very quick when it came to the refund and you know I'm sure eventually they would have got the car you know running right I just didn't want to wait uh, you know much longer than a month I, I like I said I thought I would get that tune set it and forget it and the car would be running great on their stage 3 E85 tune a lot of people told me uh, you know don't run it with the stocks stock har hardware because you're gonna have issues you're gonna lean out the car so that made me even more nervous um, I've worked with Unitronic APR in the past never had any issues with my cars always ran perfect um, you know and then of course in the tuning community modifying cars you want to have a little bit more power so you know we, we, we tinker with the cars um, but when it came down to that stage 3 tune I was literally just I daily the car so I was literally just wanting something that would work and, and that's it um, that being said, Unitronic reached out to me. They wanted to work with me and um, and send me their their MPI kit and start testing their Stage Three, uh, you know, software on my Pmax. And I was really, really about to give it a shot. Uh, John is, is is amazing at Unitronic. Um, I was about to give it a shot, but then my wife actually bought me the low pressure fuel pump from EQT and Ed reached out to me and you know basic, basically told me hey let's give it a shot what do you think and with the pump being on its way I said you know what why not um, again we had some issues with the tuning or not not with the tuning with um, basically you know the base maps uh, that were sent over to me from Ed but as tuning went on just like how you would expect with custom tuning things did get better 
and I'm not talking about you know waiting a month even a week for a, a revision I mean Ed was was on it he was you know telling me what it might be what what he needs to do what he needs to touch up he was very very quick when it came to responding to my emails my concerns and I mean as time went on you know like I said we had some issues we got it sorted data logging back and forth on emails just how you expect custom tuning would work using the Cobb access port so you know I kept it going he kept it going and we got the car to where it is now we are full bolt-ons Pmax turbo drop in low pressure fuel pump and I also got my ethanol sensor for Burger, uh, Burger Motorsports um, you know to make sure that car is on E60 because the car is tuned on E60 so you know I, I'm only bringing up this because like I said you guys have issues with your tuners and if you're not willing to work with your tuner you're gonna have a you know it's gonna leave a bad taste in your mouth and then also you're gonna you know piss them off and it turns into this big old thing on social media like I'm gonna say it again I you know I could have gave all 34 more sports more time but the car being my daily to and from work and you know you do want to have some fun on the way well I mean terrible traffic but on the way home from work you don't you know you want to play with some cars and whatnot and, and get some runs in maybe but on 034 I just was unable to do that with their stage 3 software where again I thought it was going to be a set it and forget it type of deal I didn't know I was going to have to do data logging for them um, so that was kind of my bad I didn't have the patience to deal with them on that but I was able to you know keep their stage 3 software for the DSG works amazingly well with uh, EQT's uh, custom tuning no issues at all whatsoever never got any codes any anything going on with their software for DSG so in the end what I want to say is just you know if you guys are gonna go on and rant and and and, and put down one tuner to the other whatever compare one to another you got to consider too what you're willing to do with that tuner um, you know it can be frustrating that's for damn sure um, it can be frustrating and it can be you know a bit of a letdown um, I'm sure 034 more sports is a great company I personally that was gonna be my first time using them and I thought it was gonna work out perfect unfortunately for me it didn't work out Unitronic APR in the past have always worked great for me as far as like just you know flashes no complaints there I use them for my stage one stage two on the stock turbo for this car amazingly well um, it's it's been great with those companies as well so you know um, I'm not here to just you know try to bash on 034 but I'm just saying kind of my fault for not having the patience to work with them I'm sure they you know maybe now their stage 3 software works with uh, stock hardware maybe they made some changes I don't know um, but you know for me it is now too late because I have the low pressure fuel pump and I'm custom tuned by Ed at EQT and it's been it's been a pleasure working with Ed. Uh, you know you, some of you guys had issues with uh, EQT not only on the MK8 platform but on MK, MK7s um, but again it, it you know what are you willing to do um, to get your car running right there we go MK8 problems right there <laughs> um, but yeah luckily uh, you know a lot of people kind of do go back on their word sometimes when they you know they, they go a little bit too hard on tuners online and then they delete their post or whatever but some of you guys insist on putting out the negativity instead of being a little bit better in the car community and working with each other uh, when it comes to these issues um, you know, I'll say one more time maybe I should have worked with 034 a little bit more when it came to this uh, issue with my car but that's my car maybe it's working great for everyone else I don't know but um, all I can say is Ed at EQT with my car has been great everything's been exactly what I expected as far as custom tuning for this turbo and this let me, let me see if this works actually in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then it goes away <laughs> so um, yeah just to end it EQT Ed got me dialed in exactly pretty much where I expect the car to be at with this turbo um, I couldn't really ask for more I think as far as customer service and response time with him for my situation has been outstanding 
Um, the car feels strong, solid. Cold starts are great. Pulling is great. Even, you know, you're talking, I'm not going to say what speeds, but you can get on it and stay on it and I don't experience any fuel cuts, any kind of power cut of any kind, throttle cut, spark cut, whatever you can think of. The car gets it and gets it good. So I'm happy with it. I would recommend the QT. But then again, you know what? I think all tuners on this platform are great. Um, you know, I wanna see this platform grow. I wanna see it get better and better. And as long as we communicate with the tuners, you know, not only can they solve, solve our problems, but they can solve, you know, make for better tuning, make for a better tuning experience for everyone in general. So I want to say just be patient, work with them. Again, kind of my bad for not being patient with O34. I'm sure they're a great company. Um, but, you know, we always we always will have some bad experiences here and there. But with EQT, Ed, it's been great. And I have nothing negative to say about them. At this point, I mean, the car is where I want it to be, and I think you guys will be happy with uh, Ed or EGT if you decide to go with custom tuning on this platform.